Well, hello and welcome to this short video on transformation by shear, how to find the invariant line. Now, can you please make sure that you've watched this uh, video here with this, uh, this URL because this is a continuation of this one here. All right, okay, so we've got this from that's part of the past exam question here and we want to find the invariant line there. So this, this object A uh, is a triangle with, with point C, D, E and the transformed uh, object or the image is B here and the B has got the points C prime, D prime and E prime. Now, the, the equivalent line on the shared uh, image is line CE. So if we draw a line from C to E and then continue, the lines will meet up at the point 1, 0. Similarly, if we draw a line from C1, D1 and continue, the equivalent line on the object is CD. So you draw a line from CD and continue. And these two lines meet at the point 4, 0. Now, if you then join 1, 0 to 4, 0, you get the x-axis or the y is equal to 0 line. So that is the invariant line there. Right, moving on. Uh, this time around, I've got a triangle uh, a, B, C, which has been transformed to A prime, B prime, and C prime. And now I want to find the invariant line for this transformation. Now, similar to this one here, what I then do is, uh, if I take uh, the line BC and then continue as far as it can go, that the equivalent line the equivalent to BC on the transform triangle is B prime C prime. So now draw B prime C prime, and both lines meet at the point F there. Okay. Now similarly, the if I draw a line from B prime A prime on the image and then continue, the equivalent now will be B A, and then draw a line from B to A and then continue. Now both lines meet at the point E. If I then join the line uh, E to F, I get this. So now this line here, which is line of Y is equal to 2, is now the invariant line. Okay, that's the invariant line. Now just to confirm, if the displacement from B to B prime is 8 units, and the distance from the uh, invariant line to B is 8 units. So the shear factor will be your 8 divided by 8 and the shear factor is 1. Now just to confirm, from A to A prime is also 4 units. From the invariant line to the point A is 4 units. So divide 4 by 4, the shear uh, factor is again 1. Okay, right. Now let's try from C to C prime is four units. From the invariant line to C prime is also four units. Okay, so now if you divide four by four, we get one. So again, this confirms that the shear factor is also one. And I hope all that made some sense. Please subscribe, but you need to go back and watch uh, this video here to understand what I've done there. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. See you again sometime. Bye-bye.